What up, guys? Hello. Let's do the awkward first few minutes of a live stream as I try to make sure that this is working. Hello, hello. Um, can you guys hear me? Is anyone here? Let me know. Let me refresh my window so I can see the chat. Happy Sunday. Yep, there I am. Okay, let's see how this chat. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Wow. I saw you guys chatting it up a little bit while you were waiting for it to start. Um, hello, guys. Let me close this door so that I'm not super loud for my sister. Hi. Okay. Hello. Wow, there's so many people here already. Mac is creeping. He's deciding whether or not he wants to come in here. Oh, he's scared. Sorry, Mac. Come here. I know, so much stuff. This is all my giveaway stuff. It's, uh, well, actually, that's all of my prize box stuff. You guys know the, you know the drill. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? I have so much stuff. You guys are right. And what, what's happening right now, why it still looks a hot mess, is because I had purchased one plastic shelving unit, and it, it's not enough to split up all the stuff that I want to split up. So I'm waiting. Hopefully later today, actually, I might go get um, two or three more shelving units so I can put boxes, like, so I can have Fallout stuff, and I can have Game of Thrones stuff, and I can have Harley Quinn stuff, so I can start putting boxes together. All right. Oh, do you guys see Mac? You see Mac's tail, I can tell. Oh, there he is. I can't see how much of this screen you can see. Let me move some of my windows over. Mac, say hello. Mac, say hello. Ah. He's being, he's being kind of shy. There he goes. Oh, Mac, look up. Look over here. There he is. <laughs> Okay, he's just trying to like cuddle with me. That's interesting. Of course you are, Mac. Of course you are. <sighs> yeah, he's fluffy, but look what he did earlier. Can you see this? It doesn't look as bad on camera. Right? He was laying on me and then he got scared. They dug his claw in my arm and it hurt real bad. Okay. So you guys, first of all, before we start, I just want you guys to know that I have nothing really planned for this live stream. I did do a whole bunch of hauls recently. I was gonna make videos, but maybe I can kind of show you guys ahead of time um, and give you guys a sneak peek. At least I've, um, I'm thinking there's this really big bag of shirts that I bought from Target that I really like. Yes, this is my Nerf gun shirt that I got in a Nerdblock Junior box. I actually really like it a lot. I'm such a fan. Um, so yeah, I thought maybe I could do that. We'll, of course, probably do a giveaway at the end of the live stream. I don't know how long this live stream is going to be. I always say it's going to be a quick live stream, and I still feel that way for today, but we'll see how long quick means. Usually that means like an hour. I can do a P.O. Box presence if there's somebody in here who sent me something that doesn't want me to wait until I do an actual official P.O. Box presence. I know there's a lot of you guys who have been asking me about it, but I... I just haven't had time, like, I have so many things I need to film, and I just haven't had time, and, um, there goes Mac, he just left. Uh, I can open your thing up in this video, but then it won't make it into the official P.O. Box video, so it's totally up to you what you want, but if you, if you have sent me something and you want me to open it, just let me know. Uh, I have to leave in an hour. Well, I'm hoping it's only an hour, too. Let's do some shout outs. Let's say hi to some people. How many people do we have in here? 130, that's a lot of people. I'm drinking a tea. Unsweetened black iced tea. Uh, let's see. Do you have some stuff to unbox? I do, Laura, but the problem is, is I don't like to unbox things on live streams. Um, I like to give Everything that I receive, whether it's from fans or stuff that I bought or even hauls, I love to just, like, do videos for them because I feel like it makes it more official. Um, but like I said, if you guys sent me something in my P.O. Box that you want me to open in this live stream, I can totally do that. It just won't make it into the official P.O. Box video video. Hello, Carlos. Hi, Mandy. 
Hello, Joanna. Oh, from Ireland, always. Are you sober? Hungover? Is it like nighttime for you? Um, uh, hi, Gabby. Hi, Captain Gamer Girls. I don't know what your name is. What's your name? Hi, Beck. Um, Beck, I will, let me see if I can find your letter and I will open it. Hi, is it Corne? Corne? From, did you say Africa? Was that from Africa? Hi, 8 bit Beck from South Africa. Ooh. Um, hi, Alyssa from Washington. Emily, Oakley. Hi, Oakley. It's Oakley. I didn't realize that. That's cool. Hi, Ren. Bonjour. Are you French? Um, you guys don't mind my really chapped lips. I went to this conference thing on Thursday. It was like I literally worked all day Thursday. I'm still trying to recover from it. And I guess in that room, it was super, like, dry, and then they were blasting the air conditioning. And I left there, and I thought my lips were, like, sunburned. That's how it felt. It was so intense. Um, yeah, so they're super chapped and whatnot. Hi, Emma from the UK, and Mark from England, and Lily from Houston, and Morgan. Hi, Morgan. You had one of those potato things. Ren is from uh, Canada. So is T. <laughs> Did you ever go to Guam? Carlos asked. I, I have not ever gone to Guam. Guam. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Bat Cakes. And uh, hi, L Lizan. Lizan. San from the Netherlands. I don't know how to say that name. Sorry. Okay. Ah, my lips are so chapped. They're like, they hurt so much. Timo's here. Hi, Timo. Timo, I've missed you. I'm sorry, Timo's not in Disneyland right now because that's where he always is. I'm so jealous. Um, first of all, can I share this game? I don't think I actually gave out the code for this game. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't think I did. So I wanted to give it out now so that I can throw it away and forget that I have it. So if anybody wants that, it's a game called Event Zero. I might have already given this out, but it wasn't bent in half. So I feel like I didn't. So there you go. Okay. Throw that away. Uh, oh, Rory's in charge of 88 freshmen. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Uh, Sarah, Super Sarah Stuff is from Washington State. Hi, Stephanie. I noticed you because you have the same name as me. Um, oh, Jacob's from San Mateo. Jacob, is it raining over there? Because it's like now it just started pouring. It's been on and off all morning. Uh, hi, Tommy. Hi, Don Dinnett from South Carolina, I think. Um, Beanard, happy birthday. JJ, hello, Joseph from, uh, I don't know. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> and uh, Band Geek from Houston, hello. And Michelle, hi, Michelle. Oh. Hi, Dom from Belgium and Patricia from Spain. Oh, my gosh, you guys are from all over the place. Emily, it's raining here in California. It is raining here. Well, I, don't, I think it depends on where you are in California. Hi, Morgan. Oh, hi, Michelle from Maui. How are you? How's your daughter doing? Okay, um, let's get this bad boy started. Tim was going to Disneyland tomorrow. I'm jealous. Have I heard of ECCC, Emerald City Comic Con? Yes, I have. Um, I know that's going on right now. I actually yesterday looked it up where it was because I was like, where is Emerald City? What is that a place? And it's in Seattle, and I'm totally jealous. I think I need to eventually, one point in my life, find my way to one of these Comic Cons that are a little bit more well known, like one of the bigger ones, New York, Emerald City, San Diego. Um, there's one that's in San Jose every so often that I was gonna go to, but that one's not as big as the other ones. Like the other ones, Funko puts out like their huge little thing and everything and whatnot. Um, what I'm upset about is that I did not get the Nerd Block ECCC crate. I think it's a mixture of Nerd Block and Reed Pop, which I usually get it, but I told myself to stop buying the special edition Nerd Block boxes. So I didn't buy that one, and then I saw that it came with a really cool Power Ranger fleece blanket, and I was so jealous about it. Super jealous. 
the one time see this is okay this is why I dislike subscription boxes and you guys always ask me right you go this box is terrible why why don't you not get it or just stop getting it and I'm like that I have this fear that if I stop getting a box the next box that I don't get is gonna be something that I would absolutely love and then I have to try to figure out how to get that stuff or pay you know like eBay prices which is ridiculous and that's how I feel about this stupid nerd block box which like I love and yeah and I didn't get it so good job me right of course um, Captain Gamer Girls Oakley Yes, I need to see Logan. I heard it was really good. I might try to see it today depending on what I end up doing. I'm really trying to like, one, relax a little bit because it's been crazy and this week is going to be so crazy at work and I just want to have some time to like chill. And yesterday, I didn't chill at all. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Snapchat, I went and hung out with my goddaughter and my friend Dana. And we, she had her first, she's playing softball for her first time. And she had her parade. So I went, I missed the parade. It was like 10 minutes long. And then they had to take team pictures, which we thought were going to be quick. And it took like, we literally waited for like two and a half hours, I think it was. And it was so lame, but it was fun to hang out. And um, it was just lame because we had to sit outside in the dirt and then it was like sometimes it would rain um, and then afterwards I, we went to the mall and hung out which was fun got some new converse did you guys know that they're discontinuing or I think they might be discontinuing the Chuck 2's which is so disappointing because I love Chuck 2's they're so comfortable and they last forever so I'm really sad about that I found that um, I went to Journeys and they were like oh they're on sale I was like oh that's interesting they never go on sale and then they're like oh that's because we're gonna stop selling them I was like oh, that sucks that sucks really bad because I really enjoy them. So I bought two pairs and I might go online and buy a couple more because I really do enjoy those and they last forever. Um, and then, yeah, I went to go hang out with my parents. I went to go stop by to say hi. I didn't think they were going to be home and then they were home and then we were talking about going out to dinner and then all of a sudden my mom was like, oh, you can help me. Whenever I go home, my mom always wants me to help her like carry something heavy. Like I'm not necessarily that strong, but I, in my family, because I'm the athletic one, I'm known as like the strong one and so she had 22 like boxes of flooring that she needed to bring from the garage into the house so that it can acclimate to the temperature of the house so me and my dad had to carry 22 boxes of wood flooring and my dad's kind of old I felt really bad and I could carry like I was able to carry myself up they were like no you're gonna hurt your back you know but they didn't mind me carrying them with them and so we carried 22 boxes that were like 60 pounds each, which isn't that much. But first of all, I don't exercise anymore and I don't work out. So my arms are so sore from doing it because we had to carry them up the stairs. Anyways, that was my random story about what I did yesterday. So I didn't get to relax. Uh, let's see. In Norway, Funko Pops are $20. Jealous of U.S. citizens. I definitely think that we are lucky um, living in America that a lot of these brands they're from america and so they are a tad bit cheaper to get um you know pops range anywhere from like eight to, to ten to twelve to fifteen dollars depending on what type you get um let's see uh so yeah anyways i have i want to share with you some of the upcoming videos that i'm hoping to film today and then i want to start filming and getting like two to three videos out a day. I know lately I've almost I've only been like putting out one video and it's because I'm lazy and I need to stop being lazy because I don't like I'm not gonna lie, I hate when my analytics drop so low. Um it makes me depressed. Not depressed, it just makes me sad because I know I could have a lot of content out. I just don't put it out because I'm lazy and tired sometimes. So <coughs> um yes. I should do a live stream with my godson. I should. Uh, Jackson is probably at home. I have no idea what he's doing. But I think that would be fun. Although I don't trust that he won't just go blabbing my name or something, like my full name, because I feel like that's what kids do. Um, Kaylin is asking me to try to say her name right. I think it's Kaylin. It looks like Kaylin. It, it, I don't know what, how else I would say it. Um, Let's see. Hi, Helena from New York. No, not New York. North Carolina. Sorry. Do I like Jem? Are you talking about Jem, the uh, Spice Girls new group? I heard their new song. I don't know if they meant to put it out or if it leaked, but 
I like anything Spice Girls related. I feel like I'm one of those people that just, even if it was terrible, I'd be like, I don't like this. Because I'm supportive like that. Uh, will I be doing my Nerd Black Junior box soon? Yes, I have both the girls and the boys box, so I will be doing that soon. I'm drinking an unsweetened iced tea. A lot of people ask me that. It's, it's literally just a black unsweetened iced tea with no water. Uh, that's what I always drink, so yes. Hi, Brooke. I hope that your day gets better. I'm sorry to hear that you're having a bad day. And hello, Landon. What's my favorite character from Star Wars? Honestly, it's so weird because I really don't know. And I feel like it changes. I mean, each movie it's different, sort of. Like, I really liked Ray in the new movie. Before the movie came out, I feel like, oh, I like BB-8 too. But I really liked Ray. I just liked her character. But I also liked the relationship that Ray and Finn had, like, in general together. I love the, just the back and forth that they have. I'm such a fan of that. Do you guys mind if I eat my breakfast sandwich before it gets cold? I forgot I even had this. Oh, I watched the teaser for Deadpool today. <laughs> Can you believe that video got more than 11 million views in one day? How crazy is that? So crazy. My favorite Ninja Turtle is Donatello. Although, I also have a love for Mikey because I like how funny he is. Have I seen The Room? The Room, is that the one where it's the mom and the son? Because if it is, yes. Do you ever clean your room? Well, this is not my room. First things first. My other room, yeah, I've tried to clean it for like the past eight years, so I'm always trying to clean my room. Um, was it Nerdblock Junior that messed up their box last month? I don't know. I did not stop with the Nick box. The Nick box is a quarterly box, so that one ships quarterly, so the next one should be coming soon. Um, did I have a good week? I had a really tiring week, which is, I think, why it was so hard for me to get videos out, because I just seem so tired all the time. But I feel like that's not going to go away, so I just have to figure out how to work through it. Am I going to see the new Beauty and the Beast? I think so. I like Emma Watson enough that I feel like I'm going to see, I'm going to go see it to support her. Beauty and the Beast was never my ultimate favorite Disney movie, but I think it's going to be a good movie. Are you going to do a haul? I did not buy anything from the box lunch store. Here's the situation. I went to Hot Topic. I went to FYE. Maddie was with me, and she was, we had been, like, literally standing and walking the entire day, and she was, I could just tell she was donezo. And then I just happened to see this, that store, and I was like, let's walk by it. And then we kind of walked by it, and I was like, let's go inside really quick. And I looked at it, I was like, can you just last for, like, two more minutes? So I just went in there really quick and, like, looked at everything that they had, and I was so intrigued. I did look at the pricing, which is very expensive, but you guys were right. They do donate, what, 10% to feed, I think, hungry children or something. So that's cool. So I can't wait to go back there and, like, spend more time and looking at stuff. Like, it's really fancy. It's like, like I said, it's a fancier version of Hot Topic, and you guys said that the same company owns it, which makes sense. Um, you know, you definitely have to be willing to spend money in that store. Maddie, the first thing she saw when she walked in was a... Um, snow globe of it was from bell bell from beating the beast and she's like I, I want this and i was like okay put on your christmas list and i was like i can't even remember that's for like 50 dollars probably i never watch any movies that i say i'm gonna watch you're right you know why because i'm too lazy to put the blu-ray into this into the little blu-ray player i'm too cheap sometimes to buy it on itunes because i think they overprice their movies when i can buy the same price and get a blu-ray and a like, digital copy and a DVD copy. Um, <clears throat> something about the flu. I don't have the flu. I thought I was getting sick at one point, but then I got better. What do I think of this month's Loot Crate theme? What is the theme this month? I don't keep up with themes. I did not watch Logan. I heard it was really good, though. Maybe I'll go see that today. Hmm. What's my favorite old Nick show? There's so many. Are we talking live action or or um or uh cartoon? I think that's the difference. My favorite Marvel character is Hawkeye. 
not hot guy, although it could work, but hot guy. I know, I heard it was really sad. Hmm. Rory's procrastinating. Don't procrastinate too long. It, it stresses you out more. Logan is not in 3D. I don't like to see um, any movies in 3D usually. I just, I'm not a fan of that. Why him? I think you're asking about why Hawkeye. I don't know. I just like him. Emma says I should take breaks. I should take breaks, but you know what it is? I usually know when my breaking point is, and you can tell me only posting one video or me posting no videos is me taking a break. But for me personally, like, I get a really good enjoyment and motivation when I post things and you guys watch them and you like them or whatever and you comment on them. And so it makes me really sad when I don't do it because then it's like I feel like I'm missing a part of my day when I don't, I don't like that. I don't like going to work. Like, I hate when I am in a rush and I just have to leave and I can't post a video. I hate going to work and being there all day and going like, dang it, I didn't get a chance to post a video today. Like, it bothers me. Hmm. Somebody tried to give me a broken fire stick one time. I try not to do things like that. Primal is a Luke right there. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not overly excited about it. Like, I'm really excited for... What is it? Is it the Geek Gear box that's going to be arcade? I'm excited for that. Somebody's talking about Princess Mononoke and a studio. I don't even know how to say that. Ghibli? Ghibli? I always say it wrong. Hi, Emily. Miss ya. Um, yeah. Okay. Sorry, let me just quickly eat this. I'm so hungry. Somebody used my code. Mmm. Am I going to get the new Nintendo? I'm not sure yet. I almost bought it yesterday. I was at GameStop and they had it. And I thought they were going to sell out. Um, if any of you guys are Twitter followers, you saw that video I posted of, like, a theory that they had about the Nintendo Switch and how it might become um, VR or augmented reality, which I thought was really unique and cool. So, I think eventually I might. Did you bother to get the Luke Carey bonus? I didn't do the thing. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Where to go? I tried to do this thing, and just realized that I just don't have the time to do this. Which I feel like I would love things like this. So I'm sad that I'm not gonna get any kind of bonus item. But hopefully, you guys, once you um, once you guys get it, let me know what the bonus item is. Was it a good theory? I thought it was a good theory. Actually, I watched the whole video. Um, I don't ever do live feeds on Instagram. I didn't, you mean like the story thing in, in Instagram? I have trouble keeping up with all the social media things, to be honest. What do I think about the Marvel Collector Core Box? I like it. I haven't gotten the new one yet. I think it might still be in my P.O. Box. I gotta go check that. I'm eating a bacon Gouda breakfast sandwich from Starbucks. Oh, hi, Mikhail. I, I think I just packed up your box. Oh, look, Miguel, here's your box. <laughs> it's getting ready to be taped up. I just got to tape it up. I have um the GoFundMe boxes. I need to, like, like I already packed them, but I need to write the letters and then tape them and then send them out. So that's what I'm hoping to do this week. Hmm. What time is it now? 11.24. What about Harry Potter stuff? My Harry Potter box is growing for giveaway stuff. I'm pretty excited. Hi, Amber. Tell your kids I love them, too. <laughs> All right. What should we do? Let's talk about some stuff. What do you guys want to do? One of the things I do want to show you, I still have some of the snack boxes. I'm not going to lie. I've been... Some nights I'm like starving for snacks. So I just walk in here and I grab a box and I open it and I look in it and I just pick out the stuff that I like. Um, just a way for me to uh, try to catch up with my food boxes. 
10 p.m. in Israel. Oh, well, it's not too bad. I was trying not to, I know in the, what, in Australia, it's probably like 6 in the morning or 5 in the morning, so that sucks, but. Um. Hi, Mallory. Thank you for watching my videos. I didn't get an email. Michelle. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Let me look. Michelle, I sent you an email through GoFundMe, so uh, check it. And if not, I'll figure out how to try to get a hold of you. You're right. You're like the only person who hasn't responded, actually. So we got to get that taken care of. I'm excited about Disney Treasures. Yes, I am. Although, I hate how Funko keeps, uh, they keep spoiling their boxes. Like, they've already showed you every all the big items that are going to be in it. And I'm like, I try not to look at that stuff. It's like, they post it everywhere. I don't know why they do that. Somebody said I'm lagging. I, I might be. You know what? This room doesn't get the best internet. I bought a Wi-Fi extender. I haven't installed it, though, so I got to install it. I know that in general it's lagging. It's like five steps behind. Hmm. Oakley, I do agree with you, but what I love about getting random houses, first of all, sometimes I get, like, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff stuff that I actually like and I want to keep, but the cool thing about getting random houses is that I just have a mixture and a variety, and I like being able to have stuff in stock, so I don't have to buy stuff with my money to fill the giveaway stuff. Like, I really like being able to do that. Like, I'm totally a fan of that iPhone 6 Plus, 6S Plus. My favorite bugs, bucks, my favorite box at the minute is probably, hmm, I really like the collector's case. You know which box I like? I haven't received it in a long time. Hey, wait. Have they come out with another Sanrio box? How many Sanrio boxes do I have? I feel like I haven't gotten that one in a long time. I really enjoyed the Loot Crate Sanrio box. I think that box is really, really cool. But I haven't gotten it in a really long time. Hmm. I'm going to have to look into that. I think that might have been a quarterly box too, though. But I feel like I have not received it in a long time. I have not received my Legion of Collectors box yet. Have you ever unboxed a Pokey Cube? No, but I'll take a look into a Pokey Cube. Pokey Cube. Note to self, Pokey Cube. Um, let's see. Am I still getting Bobos? Funny story. Good question, Maddie. Thank you for asking that because I totally forgot. So I thought I was, and you know, after they did their um, Kickstarter campaign, they kind of fell off the map, to be honest. They had sent me my last box in my three month subscription, and then now they're no longer doing um, month. You just have to, every there's no three month subscription where you have to go month to month. And I want to say they did that because they might have had trouble, like, keeping stock and whatnot or whatever. Um, the last time I purchased, I actually purchased a the mega box they sell and then one more month, and I just got an email saying that they're going to ship me a box. I don't know which box it is. So I do have a box in the mail on its way from um, Bobo. So I don't know. And I funded Bobo's too on Kickstarter to support. I think I did it where I could get like a, a mystery bag or whatever that is. Um, yeah, I don't know, honestly. I wouldn't be able to tell you guys what's going on with that company. I haven't heard from them, and I don't really know. So I would wait if you, if I were you, I would wait until they kind of came back at full swing before you went onto their website and purchased boxes just to make sure um, because they are, like, I purchased the one month and the mega box, like, a long time ago. It, it's been a really long time, so I don't really know what's going on. Did you get the new box from Comic of the Month Club yet? No, I don't think so. I got the February one. I'm in a weird, right now is the time where I'm, um, it's the beginning of the month, which means I'll start getting all of the boxes that ship at the end of the month in like, I like a, what's an example, like the uh, gamer blocks and the comic block and some of the loot crate boxes. So I'll start getting those in within the next couple of days. I'll have like a one week lull. Um, where I won't really get anything, and then come the middle of the month is when I'll start getting most of the boxes. That's kind of the busy time, so, yeah. 
Oh, thank you, Daniel, for using my code. I appreciate it. Am I getting the switch? No, I oh, we already talked about that. I have not gotten the switch, and I might get it, but I'm not sure yet. Um, the worst, what the what was the worst Funko box? They've all taken turns. Like, I've received some really bad Marvel Collector Core boxes. I've also received some really bad Legion. Like, they've gone through phases. In general, the Funko boxes, like, I like them because I know that I'm going to get value with them. Uh, and you'll get exclusive items, but there have been some months where I'm like, why did they give us this stuff? Like, what were they thinking? Um, so it's kind of hit or miss. Do I think the band box is worth $35? Not really. It just depends on what, if it, if it meets your style. It does not really meet my style. Um, but I know that they're really trying to like fix it up right now. That's what they're doing. So I hope that they can, you know, I like to support companies too. Like, I hope that they can do well, but I did hear a, a rumor that they were going to, closed down. I don't know if that's real or not. I just, somebody had said that, that that was a thing. Um, bad box ever. Worst box ever. Gosh. Um, well, Gizmo Crate and Hero Crate are the two companies that I've had the worst customer experience with. And Gizmo Crate actually was a pretty bad box too. But that was the first box that got me a thousand views on my video. And so I kept it for that reason. Um, cause I was so excited, like a thousand views at that point I was getting like maybe a hundred views. So that was really exciting. So GameStop has all of the, the special edition Power Ranger pops. I need, I didn't pre-order them online. I don't know if they're still available and I'm really upset that I didn't. I went to GameStop yesterday. They didn't have them. Um, so I need to figure that out cause I do want those ones, the clear ones. Riverdale series. I don't, whoa. Oh my gosh, I almost died. Hi, Moss Family Adventures. Do you ever show all of your pop collections and where I display them? I always show them on every live stream. I show them to you guys because um, right now they're in my they're in my drawer. I actually need to take them out and inventory them because I've been going to Hot Topic a lot and I never can remember which pops I already have and which ones I don't have. And I think I might be purchasing duplicates, which is okay because I'll put it in my giveaway. Um, cause I just bought, I just did a huge hot topic haul online. They had a sale going on. And so I bought a ton of pops and stuff. So I'll do a video for those, but yeah. Um, anyways, let's say, will you ever get loot, pre loot crate for pets again? Probably not. It's not a bad box. I just don't have a dog. It's very dog friendly and, and dog heavy. Um, I have been looking at getting a cat box. So I got to look into that. Congratulations, boss man, for hitting 400 subs. Congratulations. When are you going to start your own crate? I don't think I have the means to start an actual, like, subscription box, but I have been trying to start, like, themed boxes that I can sell. I'm still in the, it's still in the works. It's a lot of work. I, I just, and I, I don't know if I have, I might need to, like, have somebody jump on the team because I don't know if I have the manpower. I try to do everything myself, and I just don't know if I have the manpower to do everything that I want to do. Because the same thing with getting shirts. Like, I want to get Nerdy Noob shirts, but I just don't know if I have the manpower to do so yet. Um, huh. a lot of, I think a lot of people would order a, I don't know, if I, did anyone see the video I posted this morning? The, um, I don't know how to say it, the Toink? Is that how you say it? That seems so weird. But the mystery box, it was literally a box just, like full of randomness and I don't know what I think about that but I know that I could totally put a box together like that like but I feel like that would be lame like I wouldn't want to send anybody a box like that of like super random items unless there was a chance like if I put five boxes together that were just random random things right but one of them had either a super awesome exclusive or something that was like more valuable and I just locked up all the boxes, mixed them up so no one knew, like, which one had it, and then I sold them online, so then I, you had, a, like, a one in five chance of getting it or whatever it is. Like, I would potentially do something like that because then there's at least a chance of getting something really cool, but I wouldn't want to just, like, put a random box together like they did with that Twink box. I need to have an exclusive shop. I, you know what my goal was originally was that I would, on eBay, I would sell all of my exclusives so that I could kind of make a little bit more money. Um, you know, I'm never trying to make money off of you guys, but I wouldn't mind making money off eBay, even if it was just a little bit to help um, offset all the costs that I have, because I definitely need to start, like, figuring out how to 
break even a little bit more because I'm not breaking even at all right now. Um, so I think I want to start doing that so I can put boxes together of just like stuff and then I can sell like exclusive items on, on eBay and let people bid on them or whatever and hopefully get a little bit more value for those so that it can, you know, again, offset the cost. Catch, catch me outside. How about that? I don't, I don't know that thing. I did watch that video though. Bethany, it sounds like a lot of people have seen Logan, and a lot of people have said that it's amazing, so maybe you should see it. It sounds pretty good. Um, do you throw your boxes or keep some? I, the ones that I keep are the ones on my bed, because I used to want to keep them, and now I realize that that's not, it's not going to work, so I've been breaking down all the boxes and just um, recycling them. Eventually, you guys always say, like, I should just ship out the boxes to people, and I think eventually I might do that, but right now I have so many boxes that I just need to clear out the space, and then we'll see how it goes as we get more boxes. Like, I'm never going to have a shortage of boxes coming in, right? So I don't want to hoard boxes. The only boxes I do keep, though, let me see if I can show you this. Okay. So you see this little corner right here? That's where I keep all my loot crate boxes because once I'm done organizing all my stuff, what I want to do is build a really tall wall of loot crate boxes, take a picture so I can, I don't know why I feel the need to do this, but it's like I have to take a picture, tag loot crate so that they can be like, I want them to like retweet my picture or something. I don't know why because I've seen them do that and I'm like, oh, I have way more loot crate boxes than all of those people. And so I have this need where I feel like I have to like keep all the loot crate boxes. I don't know why. It's so lame. Terrible. I like Benedict Cumberbatch. I liked him in, um, oh, what was that movie called? The one where he had a um, crack the code? What was that called? I don't remember. I love that movie, though. It was good. Um, Geriatric Geek told me to use the app Sort It. That's good. That's a good little helpful tip. Thank you. Imitation Game. I love that movie. Oh, I had like a lazy eye just there. Wow, that was weird. I love Imitation Game. You know another? Uh, I've been watching The Crown a lot recently. I like The Crown. I love things about the Queen. For those of you who are from the UK or England or London or whatever, like I love The Queen. I've always been obsessed with like learning more about that whole situation, like royal royalty and all that stuff. Anyways. Hunger Games. I like Hunger Games. Yeah, anybody else watch The Crown? My favorite animal is a... I used to like llamas. I like giraffes. I like cats. I used to like fish. That's not really an animal. Do you watch The Flash? I don't watch The Flash, but I started watching Supergirl. I really don't have much time to watch. And then I still have to watch all my other shows like Grey's Anatomy and How to Get Away with Murder and Gold Rush and... New Girl, and, like I have so many shows that I it's hard for me to add more shows. Um, a loot crate wall must be built. Maybe if I can find a wall to build it against. What do you eat when watching Hunger Games? Code crackers. I found that my um. My noise that I make for like a joke is really not, it doesn't sound like what it's supposed to because that's the noise that I make. I go, but that doesn't sound anything like, <laughs> like drums. I don't know. I realized that recently, like, what was that? That doesn't even sound like drums. Have you seen Once Upon a Time? I love Once Upon a Time. I, you know what though? I fell behind and I haven't seen all of the, I don't know what season they're starting tonight, but, or like what, if they're in the middle of the season or they're starting a new season, but I have a whole season's worth on my DVR ready to watch. I just haven't. Um, what comments would you search? Uh, somebody asked that something about a teacher and comics. Um, honestly, my kids love Deadpool, which I try not to put in because he's not usually very kid friendly. Um, the Power Ranger comics are actually really kid friendly. And then that, that, what is that thing that I got? Like the, the teen Marvel or little kid Marvel, little Marvel. Those look kid friendly. I heard that's really good too. I haven't read it yet. Um, Oakley, I've never cosplayed before. I haven't even gone to anywhere where I would be able to cosplay. I've cosplayed in Halloween. I don't know if that's considered cosplay during Halloween. I am single because, gosh, could you imagine? I, first of all, I don't know if anyone would actually want to live with this. But really, in reality, I just don't. I like right now, like, I'm good. I like being able to do whatever I want to do. I like being able to live stream and not having to worry about, oh, let's do something on a Sunday. Like, I'm good. 
I'm really lame like that. Uh, Ghost Napa says that they cannot watch TV. I have a really interesting sense of TV shows. I, I'm not surprised. I don't think most people would want to keep up with the shows that I watch because I, I like really random shows and sometimes I like track like I love the Royals. It's so funny that I watch the Crown and the Royals because they're completely opposite, but they're both about England and like royalty, and so I love it. High Explorer Master. And no, I don't watch Walking Dead. I don't like zombies. Sorry, guys. I don't like zombies. Kaylin is leaving. Goodbye, Kaylin. I love Disney Tsum Tsums, and I almost started collecting them, and I realized that it just wasn't something like, I like the way they look, but it wasn't necessarily something. You know what it is when those mystery packs? I don't like how they come with accessories. It's weird. I think I just like the actual Tsum Tsum itself. I don't like the, all the accessories that it comes with. It, it overwhelms me. Somebody's going to date Christina. I don't know what that even means, but Zedicus wants to date Christina. Christina, you have somebody who wants to date you. You should take advantage. Just kidding. Don't do that. What kind of work do you do? I work with kids. Um, oh, Christina's asking if I'll date her. Oh, I see. And then somebody else chimed in saying that they, oh, <laughs> that's so funny. Sorry, guys. I don't really want to date anybody. I feel like I'm already dating all of you guys. Go single Scorpio, born on 12th of November. Me too. Oh, I have a birthday buddy. Night Lizard. I think I kind of knew that already. Uh, yeah, Scorpio. I don't know what that means. I do know what that means. I know that we tend to be very... I don't know. Do you love big heroes? Big heroes? Is that a... I don't know what that is. I watch Dan and Phil sometimes. Not, not religiously. What age kids? Mostly elementary, and then in the summer I'll also hit up some teens. We, we, we uh, run a teen program in the summer. Which one do I recommend, Tokyo Tree or Japan Crate? Honestly, I don't really know because I haven't kept up with them recently. Um, I know Japan Crate just recently moved from, they were like from around here, from Richmond, California. They just moved to Japan. So I don't really know if that's going to give them more like Japanese specific items or items from Japan that you can't really get here. So I don't really know. I've always preferred Tokyo Treat over Japan Crate because of the pricing. Um, I think Tokyo Treat's a little bit cheaper. Um, stay single, give us followers hopes. <laughs> I don't think, I'm a really interesting person. I couldn't even imagine dating myself. I think I'd get frustrated. I'm pretty um, intense and very uh, stubborn. I'm a very stubborn person. I know nerdy noob. I want to make nerdy noob shirts so bad. You know, okay. I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you. Here's the thing. Um, I was working with a graphic designer at one point. Uh, it got a little bit costly at that point in time. And so I put it on pause. I've had some of you guys, some of you guys have emailed me things that you've made, which are so cool. But I run into this like weird feeling of legal reasons of like copyright. Like I just got to figure out how that works with copyright because I don't want like first of all, I feel terrible because I don't want you guys to be set. Like I know some of you guys actually are graphic designers or you get that's something that you guys do. And like I don't want you guys to think that I'm taking advantage of you. Like somebody sent me like all of these things. I I saved the email because I want to contact them back. And it was a long time ago. I was looking, I was like, these are so cool. Like I would love to make shirts like this. And so I want to, but I'm not sure if there's one a copyright issue because they're the one who designed it. Like, how do we make it work where it's like a, tr a a legal transfer of rights so that they don't try to come back at me? And then the second thing is, um, like a lot of the designs that people have made for me are based off of other things. So like, it might be like the Ninja Turtle writing, but it says Nerdy Noob, which is really cool and I love it. But like, do we run into copyright issues with that? Does anyone know if, if that's like a thing? Can I get in trouble for that? If it's like the font of Ninja Turtles or Power Rangers or whatever, and then we put it on a shirt, like, will I get in trouble for that or no? I think that's what makes me worried because I just don't want to get in trouble. Like, I don't want to get sued or anything. I always have a fear of being sued. I should make buttons with my logo because I can do that. I can get my hands on a button maker and I would totally do that. Um, I don't know what everyone's talking about. Something about Merlin and Camelot. Are we, oh, are we talking about uh, Once Upon a Time or something different? Oh, there was another show that was more about stuff like that. Anyways, I don't know. Um, yes, it's a cover issue. It looks close enough. Yes, it's cover. See, so like 
I can't use that stuff. No, you can't get copyrighted unless Nickelodeon goes crazy. You might, oh my God, you guys are going so fast. You might need to do checks for patent. Most of them fall under fair use. Copyright come into play if someone can mistake in you for the original brand. Uh, like, that's, see, like, trying to research so I don't get sued is what I want to avoid. <laughs> that's the problem. So, yes, I'm not quite sure what's going on. One of the movies I'm, oh, I love Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. That's one of my favorite cartoons. Uh, and I actually started watching that as an adult when I was in college. I love Blue. I have this game on my, um, DS that I play. It's so stupid, but I love it. Um, Gallivant. Gallivant, I watched that. That was like, when they first started, it was like a four-part series. Isn't it kind of like a musical? I watched the first season, and I didn't go, the second one I didn't really like. Don't take legal advice from YouTube. You're right. I shouldn't. I just figured maybe somebody would know. Who's my favorite Disney character? Mm, like old school or more old school Disney, Disney before Pixar is probably. I really like Mulan. And before that, I like Pocahontas. Uh, when I was younger, Pocahontas, which is so funny that I'm an adult and I'm like, okay, I don't relate to Pocahontas at all. But when I was little, Pocahontas was the one character or Disney princess that I related to the most because... She was like the first princess of color, basically. And so I was like, oh, <laughs> Pocahontas. Um, then Mulan came out and I was like, oh, there's an Asian princess. She's not even a princess technically, but whatever. Uh, so I like Mulan. Have I watched Hamilton? I don't know what that means. I want to go see Hamilton. I'm thinking about throwing down. I'm trying to save up money so I can like go see it. I'll go see it by myself because it's going to be really expensive. It's going to be like $400 to see, which sucks. Hmm. I did not see Fantastic Beasts. You know, I was going to watch it on this thing that wasn't as legal as it probably could have been. And then I was like, no, you know, I want to support the franchise. So I'm waiting for it to come out on Blu-ray, which I thought it was already supposed to come out. I need to look that up. Did it already come out? Did I miss that? I thought that it was supposed to come out in February, but maybe I misread the date. So I got to look. I did buy a Doctor Strange, but I haven't watched it yet. Heart sounds kind of weird. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Let's see. Do what's your favorite Harry Potter book? You know, people are gonna make fun of me for this, but as I was reading the books, I always enjoyed the Goblet of Fire, which I don't. You know, a lot of people like are like, oh, it was like the worst one. I I really disliked the the Half Blood Prince, which is weird because I think now looking back on our being a doll, I think I understand it more now than when I was first reading it because I was just so confused on what was happening in that book. Um, but I did go back and read it afterwards. I was like, okay, it's not as bad as I thought because I used to hate that book. Like I've only read that one twice. I've read all the other ones like a million times and that one I only read twice. Um, I also didn't really like, which I think you guys not get mad at me for this. I didn't like, um, I I don't actually know. I don't remember. It's hard now because I haven't read the books in a long time, but I, I read them religiously in high school. Um, I would say the fifth one was probably my least favorite, but my favorite was always Goblet of Fire. I don't know why. Um, oh, there's so many people who like Goblet of Fire. Oh, that's so nice. I also, the Order of the Phoenix one, that confused me a little bit too. <laughs> I also think I read them so fast because I was so into it when they first came out. Like I read all of the books within the first day or two when they first came out. Like all I did was lay in bed and I would read and then eat, take a nap, read, eat. Like it was just read, take naps, read, eat, take naps. Um, my favorite, I don't know which one of my favorite film was. Essentially, the Half Blood Prince. I actually really like the last ones, which is really lame, especially the first part of the last one, because all they did was walk around and like tent, tent, camp. But for some reason, I was like so intrigued by that. Like, oh, they're just camping and no one can see them. Um, <laughs> <coughs> I should start rereading all of the books. I should start reading more. Now I'm reading comic books. Congratulations, me. I feel like you guys are excited for that. Um, I really like the Power Ranger comic books, so that's what I've really been focusing on. Mm, have I seen La La Land? No, but her is so good. I thought it was a musical. 
And then I found out it really wasn't. And then I found I feel like it's gonna be my type of movie. First of all, I really like Emma Stone and um, Ryan Gosling when they're together. Like Crazy Stupid Love. I love that movie. So I definitely want to see that. But I'll probably wait until it just comes out. We're going tenting. <laughs> Sounds so inappropriate, doesn't it? Um. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Halloween cereal box. You know they'll have count. I don't know what we're talking about. Cereal now. Everyone's talking about cereal and La La Land and comics. Um. Open Beck's letter. Okay, Beck wants me to open his letter. Can you guys all give me like one minute? Let me go to my room and get it. Okay, hold on one second. Beck, is this your letter? Let me make sure there's nothing. Is this your letter, Beck? I don't, there's no name on it. I can't tell. There's something in this letter. I hear it. Beck, are you there? Are you there, Beck? Is this, is this yours? I only have three letters in my pile and they, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, somebody tell me if Beck says yes, that that's his letter or her letter. Beck, are you a boy or a girl? I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, yes, I brought my Target back in. Yes, okay, well, first let's open this because Beck wants me to open this. Beck, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what you sent, but um, it came like this, and I've, I've sent things. Um, one time I sent a bracelet in the mail, and they cut it out, and they took it out, so I don't know what you had in here, but there's a good chance that potentially they took it out, whatever it was, so... Hopefully, um, it wasn't anything crazy important. So let's see. I'm sure it was. So that's not good. But let's check it out. Do I buy your subscriptions for subscription boxes? Sometimes. What I need to do is not do that, though, like for Loot Crate. So Loot Crate... Loot Crate, I've always purchased a one-year subscription to them, but the problem with Loot Crate is that when you guys use my code for Loot Crate, I get a $5 credit that goes into this, like, pot. But it only works for the core crate. So if I'm only buying year-long subscriptions, I can only pull from that money for the when I, my year-long subscription comes to renew. And so what happens is, like, I just have a whole lot of money sitting, and I can't use it for anything else. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. So in this letter that Beck sent me, there is a little penny coin. It says new penny. Oh, and it has Queen Elizabeth on it. That's so cool. I was just talking about my love for the queen. Is this the money that you guys use? I didn't realize that you guys had pennies too. So interesting. And then look at this Hawkeye pin. It's a teeny tiny pin. Ooh. Did I break it? And Hawkeye, this he's a little bit pink, but that's cool too. This is a teeny tiny pin. Like this is the penny. Just for a oh. Beck says don't read the letter out loud. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I looked up. That would have been bad. Can I show the artwork? I'm gonna show the artwork. I feel like you wouldn't want me to not show the artwork, right? Or else I'd be lame. I wouldn't want to open this on the okay. This is cool. The first artwork that he gave me, these are Harry Potter, and I think they're meant to look like Funko Pops, right? You have Ron in his dress robes, and you have Hermione in her, in her Yule Ball dress, and then you have Harry in his, I don't know, his school uniform, I guess that is. So it's very nice. Ooh, very nice, Beck. I wish I was, like, talented like this. I love that you made them look like Pops. I love that, because I love, uh, I love Funko Pops. The next one he did was another one that are like Funko Pops, and these are Marvel characters, which is awesome. Look at Hawkeye. He's so cute. I love it. I love it. 
Of course, we put Captain America front and center. Just kidding, Beck. Giving you a hard time. And there's Thor, Hulk, Iron Man. Oh, and this is my favorite Iron Man. One of my favorite um, Iron Man pops was the one where he's blasting off. It took me a while to get that one. And we have Black Widow. And then on the back, these are like some cartoon drawings of, I think, Captain America skateboarding. And then Iron Man in his, like, shooting pose. That's very cool. Thank you, Beck. That's awesome. And then is this artwork or is this the litter? Beck, can I just say I'm very impressed. I'm not going to read this, but I just want to flash it. Oh, you guys didn't see it. You didn't see it, but uh, Beck actually wrote in cursive, which is amazing. I tried to write in cursive, and it looks like um, like a kindergartner wrote it because I'm terrible. 1P, 2P, 5P, 10P, 20P, 50P. What? Wait, P like in penny? Like two pennies? Where did all my enchantresses go? Oh. They're right there. Uh, I only have two of them up there because I haven't unboxed the other ones because I was waiting to get some string, which I got. I got ribbon so that when I had the, you know those Friday Night at Freddy's things? I wanted to tie them together so that I wouldn't give somebody duplicates. Oh, pence. Why do you call them pence? It says penny on here. Like, it literally says penny on this thing. P is a pence. Is that not a penny? Tell me why this says penny. Tell me all of you British people or English people or whatever. I don't know what you guys call yourself. Sorry. Um, $50 notes. Anyways. Okay. And then the last. Oh. First of all, Beck, I love the metallic paper that you used. It's really cool. And I love the way that the mark, the mark, the marker like shines off of it. He gave me a Dr. Strange print. So hopefully once I watch this movie, I'm going to absolutely love him even more, but I love him. He's very cool. I don't know if you guys can see the shininess. You guys see that metallic -y? Look, love that. That's very cool. Okay, Beck, I will not read your letter. Oh, you even put, don't read it out loud. You want me to read it out loud, Beck? I'll read it. I'll start reading it. Just kidding. Just messing with you. <laughs> I will not read it. Um, a penny is a pence. Okay, so... I mean, so it's the same thing. Pensitos. <laughs> the dude, you got jokes. Oh, man. Penny is singular for pence. Okay. So <clears throat> this is a penny, and then you the two P is a two pence, because it's two pennies, plural. Um, Beck, thank you so much for your letter. I appreciate it very much. And I love the artwork that you sent me. Thank you so much. I got to work on clearing up some wall space so I can actually frame these things. That's what I've been working on for, like, years, I feel like. Okay. We got grammar class up in this chat. Heck, yeah. Coin say so. I, British money or whatever you guys call it, currency, I'm confused. Um, I have so many friends... Yes, I do have a lot of friends in Europe. There's so many people who watch me in Europe, and I hope one day I get to go to Europe. One, so I can just walk around the streets and meet a Spice Girl, and two, so I can meet all of you guys. What's the red bag behind you? This thing? This is some kind of snack thing that I unboxed last time. Nothing that important, but let me show you this. I brought this in. I'm going to do a video for this later. I'm going to do a haul video, uh, but I wanted to show you guys this. I want to give you guys a sneak peek since you're here, and then why don't we, so if you stick around for a little bit longer, then we'll do a giveaway, because we're going to start wrapping this, uh, wrapping this live stream up, yeah? How does that sound? Sound okay? Okay, so Target recently got, every so often they get new shipments and new types of shirts in, and I just so happened to be walking in Target, and I didn't even want to look, but I saw this teal shirt that caught my eye, and I was like, I've never seen that shirt, and so I ended up over there, and then I, and then they were having a sale, and so then I ended up with shirts, as always, because me, right? Okay, here we go. I'm really excited because they're starting to get into the Power Ranger Nickelodeon game a little bit more, which is super exciting. So here's your sneak peek. So thank you guys for watching my live stream because you get sneak peeks of things. The first shirt, and I don't know if I've already purchased this before. I think I might have. Why does this shirt seem so big? But I liked the concept of the shirt, how it was black and white, and the Pikachu was just yellow. So all of these shirts I got for $10, $9.99. They were on sale. 
And this is a Pokemon shirt with all of the OG Pokemon and then Pikachu in the middle. So I like this shirt. The next shirt I got was this shirt. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know how appropriate this looks like while I'm wearing it, but I just loved the design. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Uh, uh, Naomi, I have not put my nerdy new board up yet because I want to put it up in my room. So what I got to do is go through. I've been starting to break down the boxes behind my bed. You can't tell yet because they were so high. So once I finish breaking them down, I want to put that board up and then probably put some shelves around it so I can put collectible stuff. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's the goal right now. Mm. Oh, is somebody's sound going in and out? Do you guys want to say hi to my sister? She tried to secretly walk by. No, you got to get closer. No, you got to get closer. Hey, everybody. Oops. There's my sister Jennifer. Um, you guys probably know her from my Pusheen unboxing, which Ooh. we still need to do. Yes. Oh, we, we could do. do one now. No, I don't want to do it on the I live stream. Go get Vitality Bowl. Oh. She's busy. Later day. Yeah. Okay. Karen's house. I don't know. Not sure yet. Okay. Bye. Okay. Speak of it. She's gone already. Sorry. Whoa. Wow. You're really popular. Everyone's saying hi to you. Hi, everybody. She says hi to everybody. And yes, we have a pushing box that we've had forever. What is that? The winter box? I need to resubscribe. Yeah, it's winter box. The winter box. She got it a long time ago. We just haven't had time to film. But I saw her really it. Uh. Anyways, okay. She's now gone. Let's keep doing the shirts. That's a good pause. Um, the next shirt I got. I'm sure I already have a shirt. Why does this shirt look so small? This shirt's teeny is this a men's shirt this shirt looks so small are you kidding me look how small this looks it looks like a little kid shirt anyways star wars shirt millennium falcon there you go it's a pretty simple shirt this one's pretty thin but this one's really small i'm gonna leave my car keys this world can't drive okay see ya um the next shirt i got i don't know if you guys saw this Boom! I love Space Jam when I was growing up. Uh, I remember I did a skit at school for it, but I saw that. I was excited. Uh, okay. The next shirt that I got, it's another Star Wars shirt. This shirt looks small, too. Maybe some of them are just really big. This is a Stormtrooper design and it's made to look like what is it is it van gogh i don't know too much about art but it's the one that looks like this i probably should know that one though but i don't but i like that one i like the colors and i like the just the artsy design um target runs small in their sizing sometimes if you get the athletic shirts though they run big which i found and I think this is one of the, the ones that, I don't know. This is one of the ones I saw. This is what caught my eye, and I was, like, dying. I love this shirt. Like, this shirt looks huge. Look at this shirt. Are you kidding me? This is so freaking cool. I love the color of the shirt, and I love the color of the design. Mmm, love this. Dark Side, 1977. I love, isn't it super retro? Come on. Come on. I like this one. That's a good one. Oh, and that's all. Sorry, that's so anticlimactic. I have these shirts. Can I just tell you guys, I don't know how many of you guys wear the Target V-neck shirts. Okay, those are my go-to shirts. Whenever I need, like, a nicer shirt, I literally go to Target and buy a black V-neck shirt, the Mossimo ones. And recently... And I usually get large, right, in women's. And recently, they changed their design. So I went to a party, went to Target, grabbed a large size shirt. I put it on in the car. And it looked like I was like, did I get an extra large or something? What happened? And I was looking at the tag, and I was like, no, this is a large. And so recently, 
they just changed up their sh the way they cut their shirts. Sorry, this is like totally off topic. Um, and so now I have to get a medium, which is cool in my mind. I'm like, oh, I wear a medium now. But in general, I know that that's not really how it is. But I hate the way that they recut their shirts. So Target, can you please go back to your old shirts? Because I don't like that. That's it. Okay, so there's your sneak peek of my Target shirt haul. Sorry, it wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I did like them. I'm very excited. Wait. Did I did I not have a Power Ranger shirt? Oh no, the Power Ranger shirt. I'm sorry, the Power Ranger shirt <clears throat> was in my Hot Topic haul that I did. I'll have to do a video on that because I don't have those are downstairs. So, yes. Um, okay, let's go ahead and let's do a giveaway. We have 170 people in here still, which is awesome. Let's do a giveaway to end the live stream. I don't think anybody from Geek Gear is in here. So, um, but. You know, Geek Gear is a company that they have been really supportive of me. And one of the things that they told me was that if during my live streams, if I wanted to do giveaways, that they that I could give away a Geek Gear box and that they would send it to the giveaway winner, which is super nice of them because then it it cuts down my cost personally, which is really nice. So, um, yes, I'm very excited. I I don't usually they're at the live streams. I didn't really give them a heads up that I was going to do a live stream. I'm sorry, it was very random that I decided I was going to do a live stream, but Let's go ahead, and somebody said that I look tiny. I'm actually really not tiny. I, first of all, in general, like, I've always been very, like, um, not skinny when it comes to, like, I really wide shoulders and just, like, really, I don't know. I don't know what you call it, big boned or, like, bulky, but I'm just, just some of my, like, physique has never been skinny, um, and so when I wear women's shirts, tend I tend to always get large because, like, just the way my, usually it doesn't fit my upper body. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways. Okay. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? So Geek Air is not here, but you guys know how much they have supported me. So what we're going to do for right now, because I don't know if this is going to be the case, is um, since they're not here, I can't confirm with them. So I don't want to like just assume. But um, let's do a giveaway. And for this giveaway... Most likely what it will be is whoever wins, you'll get your option between a one-month subscription of a Geek Gear or one-month subscription of a World of Wizardry box, I want to say. Because at least if we do that and they don't want to give that to the winner, I can just buy it for the winner. So that works out great anyways. Um, so let's do that. There is a chance that they might be able to put some, like... A box together, but I don't want to. I don't want to give them too much trouble. Like I don't want to. Um, like how I do it, where it's like you can give me a list of things. If you are not international, so if you are a U.S. customer and you don't want to geek gear or the world of wizardry, we could potentially talk it out, and I might be able to um, put together a box or something. Potentially, I don't really know. How are you guys already entering the give? We haven't even done. I haven't even given you guys. I haven't even given you guys any like instructions how you guys already started um anyways uh <laughs> you guys are whenever i said something completely different like i want to know the name of your first pet or something like that like you guys are already off and running okay so um yeah like if you guys already signed up for the geek gear box or the world of vision like we'll work it out i think we'll work it out anyways we'll figure it out um, but right now what they've said is that when I do live streams, if I want to give away one of their boxes that I can and they'll support that. So, um, I'm going to go with that because it, again, it does help me in the sense of shipping and just time putting together boxes for, until I get all my stuff sorted out, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. In order to enter this giveaway, I didn't think about this stuff beforehand. Um, let's make it a little bit more challenging. I want your name, where you're from, and please, you don't have to be specific. Like, don't give me your address or anything. Just say like... The U.S. or the U.K. or California. If you want to be specific, you'd be California. I don't know. I don't know how to be specific when it comes to, like, Europe. Because you guys have, like, eight different addresses and I don't understand it. So, name. Um, somebody just gave me their address. Stop it. Jeez. <sighs> name. Where you're from. Give me three franchises that you like. So don't be specific in this sense. Franchises, Harry Potter, Marvel, DC Comics, Star Wars, Nintendo, Nickelodeon, um, Power Rangers, like three franchises that you like. Um, if you had to pick between the Geek Gear and the World of Wizardry box, 
what would you pick? You guys, just wait one second. It all has to be in the same comment. Oh my gosh, you guys are so, just hold on one second. So name where you're from, three franchises, between Geek Gear and the World of Wizardry box, which one would you pick? And then either an Instagram or Twitter handle or your email address so they can get a hold of you. Okay, there you go. Ready? Name where you're from. Three franchises that you like. Franchises. So, and technically Funko is a franchise. You could say Funko. That's technically a franchise, isn't it? Technically. But don't be like Iron Man. Just keep it very general. So three franchises. Um, what was the other one? Oh, if you had to pick between the Geek Gear box or the World of Wizardry box, which one would you pick? And then your either your Twitter handle, your Instagram name, or an email address. Um, oh, where's my phone? You have... There you go. Okay, see everyone doing it. Make sure you don't miss anything. Um, you have, let me give you a time frame. Well, you could just do it now, but I'm going to say you have, what, five minutes? Five minutes to enter. I'm doing five minutes because it's hard because then I can't actually, like, really talk to you. Well, I can talk to you, but no one can respond because you're busy commenting. Okay, there. So everyone's going, and while we're doing that, I'm gonna eat my string cheese that I got. I love Starbucks string cheese. It's way overpriced, but it's so delicious. I like the tanginess of it. Hi, Trisha. Remember, if you copy and paste, which is fine, don't do it too fast, or else it'll block all of your comments and it'll freeze you. Zach, I love your new um. Your new YouTube icon, it's very, very cool. See, Zach, here's a question. If you if you made that into t-shirts, would you get copyright infringement from YouTube? Mmm. That is the question, isn't it? Okay. Sorry, when people are re-watching this, they're going to be like, what the hell? I broke this um, ottoman thing because I've been sitting on it too much. Um, what else is new? I talked to T yesterday. We were going to hang out, but I think she's going to go visit her mom today. So we won't do that. Um, what else has been going on? Mm. Oh! I downloaded the new Ed Sheeran CD. I love that freaking CD. It's so good. Mm. I love when he just does like chill, kind of sad music. I'm such a fan. It's so good. Remember, you guys can um enter more than once. How much time is left? Let me see. Two minutes and 53 seconds. Somebody just got home. Hmm. People are like trying to ask me questions, but it's going so fast I can't see it. Hmm. Oh. Yes, you can enter more than once. Just don't go too fast or else it'll block you. People are asking what people are doing. It's a giveaway. So name, where you're from, three franchises that you like. Would you want the Geek Gear box or the w World of Wizardry box? And then either your email address, your Instagram name, or your Twitter handle. Make sure you don't miss any of that stuff because if you do, then you, you'll just be disqualified. You have one minute and 45 seconds left. Somebody, Patricia loves Ed. <laughs> hmm. Let me close my door. It's freaking freezing in the hallway. Oop. I think I might have shut the door, Mac. Sorry, Mac. Say it again. Name, where you're from, three franchises that you like, 
if you win, would you want the Geek Gear box or the World of Wizardry box? And either your email address, your Twitter handle, or your Instagram handle. A way for me to get a hold of you, basically. You have one minute left. For those of you who are just either not adding things, I got my little bags from Daiso. I'm really excited. So, like, you know in, in the mystery packs when I open stuff and then I try to repack it, I mean, it always looks so janky. Now I can repack them in these little Ziploc bags so they don't look as janky. They'll still look janky, but not as janky. Um, I was telling you guys earlier about the string. I had to get ribbon so I could tie the two pint-sized heroes together so that I wasn't giving away duplicates when I sent people boxes because they sent the same ones in all of the boxes. Oh my god, it's going so fast. The comment section is going so fast. All right, five, four, three, two. One. I know there's a little bit of a lag, so I'll give it five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Okay. You can keep entering if you want, but I've officially paused it, so I won't be able to see it anymore. And now what I'm going to do is... Scroll up and down just randomly. And then we will pick a winner. Where's my phone? Oh. We'll pick a winner. And then we'll see if they have everything. And if they do, then they win. All right, here we go. Okay. Let me see where the top of this is. Too high. Okay. And let's do this. Okay. I just have to make sure that I stay inside the box. Sometimes I I, I come out of it. <laughs> That's inappropriate. Okay, so let's see. Do some up action, some down action. Let's go up a lot, and then let's go down once. Up one more, down a lot, up one, down one. Hopefully I'm still in the window. Yes, I am. And click. Okay. It is... Let me see if this person has everything. Okay. Three. All right. We have a winner. I'm not going to tell you who the winner is yet, but I'm going to let you guys try to guess. So the three franchises that they gave me, so let's see if you guys get excited. Let me take a picture so I can, I want to see what your reactions are. Or I guess I can't see your reactions because I'm going to have to keep reading this. Actually, I guess I could just read it off here. Okay, here we go. So the three franchises that this person gave me were Harry Potter. I'm not even going to say it in the same order. Pokemon, and Disney. So those were the three franchises they gave me. The box that they would pick, I don't know how many people said that. The box that they would pick would be the Geek Gear box because they already have the World of Wizardry box. I'm trying to see if the person knows it's them. Dun, dun, dun. I can't tell. It's going Now it's going really fast. Nah, okay. Uh, they are from the UK. Could you imagine watching this and like all of your, it's like the lotto. It's like winning the lotto where you're like, oh yeah, that's me. Um, no, still, it doesn't sound like the person who won knows that they won yet. Um, their name and their screen name are completely different. Uh, uh, <laughs> the person who, who actually won, I think they might know that they won. Um, the winner is Michelle from the UK, Serendipity 861. 
She's <laughs> uh, she is the winner. She put uh, she's from the UK. She likes Harry Potter, Disney, and Pokemon. She picked the Geek Gear because I already she already has a sub to the World of Wizardry one, and then she gave me her Twitter handle. Uh, Michelle, congratulations, Michelle. Um, <laughs> Oh, that was fun. I should do it like that more often. I think I might. Michelle, um, if you could also just re really quickly, I see you typing. Um, wait, it is you. Why did she say, oh, it's not me? No, wait, it was you. I can't tell. Now she's saying it's not her, but it is you. Unless there's another person with the exact same screen name as you. Oh, okay. So she knows it. Um, Michelle, can you give me what size shirt you wear? That would be great, too, if you could share that info. And if you guys could help me out if she says it and I miss it, that would be great. Um, just so I can uh, just prepare, and I will contact you as well. Michelle, congratulations. Was that not fun, guys? We should Next time I should just say give me one franchise just so that when I say the franchise, it's like it will probably um, – It'll probably like relate to a lot of you guys. It'd be like, oh gosh. Joseph Hector wants you guys to check out his YouTube video. Small. Did she say small? Did I just miss it? No, now you guys are just throwing out fake sizes. You guys are rude. Rude. Wait. 3XL. Okay, she's clearly not a small and a 3XL, so we've got to figure that out. Um <laughs> a 4XL. You guys are, are mean. You guys are mean. <laughs> um, medium. Okay. E a. You could be a 4XL. You could be a 20XL. But, oh, there it is. Small. Oh, some of you guys said small. Did you guys just know that off the top of your head? Or did she actually see it? Okay, let me take a picture of this. Okay, Michelle, I will be in contact with you. Um... Hopefully shortly, but if you don't hear from me, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter because sometimes I suck at sending messages. I apologize. You guys, I want to say a huge thank you for everyone who joined my live stream today. I love hanging out with you guys. You guys are always a blast to hang out with, and um, you guys are so much fun. I wish that – I want to try to live stream more often, probably not once a week. I don't think I can commit to once a week, but maybe once every two weeks, hopefully. Um, so we will figure it out and I'll try to do a better job of giving you guys further advance so that you guys know that I'm doing it. Um, you guys, first of all, I want to say a big thank you for hitting, we hit over 5 million views, which is so crazy. I, I don't know if you guys know to what extent, like if you really think about what that means, it's so crazy and I'm so flabbergasted. I was so flabbergasted when I saw that because I remember being at 4.5 views and I didn't think that we'd ever get 5 million like that fast. Um, so we're at 5 million and then like 84,000 views. Where is it? And then our subs were at 29,744, almost 30,000. Um, I'll probably do a 30,000 sub live stream and we'll probably do a special giveaway for that too, I guess. I don't really know. I mean, I already do live streams and giveaways anyways, but maybe we'll have like a 30K party. I can try to get T to come. That'd be fun. Um, so yeah, I'll try to do something big for 30K because that was, I, I don't know if that was my next goal. I think 50K was my next goal, but 30K is good. Like, I don't know. I'm just excited. And then, you know, maybe we'll do 30K and then we'll hopefully make the goal 50K or something. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine when I get to halfway on a hundred and thousand subs like to the plaque it's that plaque the damn plaque okay guys um i hope you guys have a wonderful sunday and i hope that you guys have a great rest of your weekend or if it's already monday where you are i hope you have a good monday if it's nighttime or morning i don't really know um you guys are amazing. Beck, I will read your letter after the live stream. I appreciate all of the support, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.